Hollywood. Here's the game where knowledge is king and Lady Luck is queen. It's the Joker's Wild. And now here's your host, the star of the Joker's Wild, Brandon Scrub. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another edition of the Joker's Wild right here at MVG Productions. Glad to have you with us once again. Well, our champion keeps racking up the wins and keeps racking up the money. In the last episode, he jumped over the half a million dollar mark. And we're going to see how much more he can deny as he continues to take on more and more challengers here on our show. So let's get right to it in our contestants for our first game of the Joker's Wild. Our challenger this time comes to us from the Aloha State. Meet Matthew Vanconcelos and our returning champion with over $560,000 in cash and prizes. It's Kevin Henry. Hello, Brandon. Hello, gentlemen. Welcome in. Now, I apologize, Matthew, because I probably butchered the hell out of your last name there to begin with. Nah, that's close enough. That's close enough. That's good enough for me. Okay. Ballpark, I'll take it. <laughs> how, how are things out in the? How are things on the Big Island there? Well, so far so good. Little, little windy, a little rainy, but otherwise it's good. Yeah. Well, it, it must be nice. I gotta ask you, how many like violet storms on average a year do you think uh, you get out in your area? Probably about three or so. Whereas it's at least in my area. But everywhere else is just like it's its own fair share. Fair enough. There was actually a big heavy rainstorm on uh, Maui, I believe, yesterday. Uh -huh. I've always wondered because I've always wanted to visit Hawaii. It's so one of my bucket list places to go before I pass on. But yeah, I'm looking forward to coming out there and visiting at some point in the line. But are you ready to try to take down our champion right now? You bet. All right, well, best of luck to you. And our returning champion again, Kevin, uh, specific, specifically over five five hundred sixty thousand seven hundred and seven dollars. Yes, sorry. A very impressive run, probably one of the best runs I've had on the show since last season. Well, I appreciate that, and uh, I'm going to try and keep it going tonight. And. Uh... Ew. I, I, I have a confession to make that it is a little, um, it can be a little stressful, but, you know, um, especially now with the responsibilities that I've taken on with my new show. I mean, there's a lot going on right now, so uh, I'm sure I'll be beat at some point. Yeah, but until then, you've been a, you've been a valiant and fine champion, and we look forward to your performances again tonight. So good well, luck to thank you. Thank you, Brendan. I appreciate that. All right, so let's get right into it, guys. We'll play some Joker's Wild for our folks at home who've never seen the show. What happens is we got a big old slot machine up here. It's full of different categories and Jokers up there. Each player is going to give it a spin, and three windows are going to come up with uh, categories in them. For every time they pick a category and answer the question, if they get it right, get the money associated with that category. Now, single ca single window categories are worth five hundred dollars a piece. A pair on the slot machine gives them a thousand dollars. A three of a kind or a natural triple will give the players two thousand dollars. Players spend a natural triple; they also receive a bonus prize, whether they win or lose. So it's guaranteed then. Of course, the jokers are wild. You can use those for any category that you'd like. And the first player to get to five thousand dollars in proper turn wins the game. Goes on to a bonus round where they get a shot at more cash prices, possibly a new car, <clears> if they could take down our devil. But in the meantime, this time, let's take a look at categories we're going to be using in this first game of Joker's Wild, and they are the following. We have food and drink, entertainment, history, fun and games, science and nature, and we finish with questions out of the old grab bag. Now, the questions out of the grab bag players, I'll just warn you now, is a bunch of just random trivia questions that I did not have a specific category for. So I literally just put them all in a bag. I'm just going to reach in and grab one out. Whatever comes out, this is the question you got to ask. All right? I answer. So best of luck to you both. Let's unlock the reels for our players. And Matt, as our challenger, you've got the right to spin first. So best of luck to you. Now I'm spinning it. Yeah, try it again. There we go. We're underway here. We've got fun games, funny games, and history. 
let's do fun and games for uh, two thousand, if that's possible. It's one thousand. It's right. It's one thousand. Okay. Yeah, we all. Yeah, remember, single categories. Okay. Are, single categories are five hundred. Pairs are worth a thousand. Right, right. Three of a kind's worth two thousand. All right. First question okay. of the game you're under fun and games. Here is your question. What popular card game is Spanish for one? For a thousand dollars, name it. Uno. Well, that was correct. You got it. I better board. know that. <laughs> yeah, and you're on the board first with a thousand dollars. Kevin, our chance. Let's give it a spin. All right, let's go, Joker. Here we go, grab bag, Joker, and a Joker. Ooh. All right, let's go, grab bag for two thousand. All right, questions out of the old grab bag here. Let's reach our hand in and see what we can find. Um, okay, interesting one. All right, Kevin, out of the old grab bag, you have this. What is the only U.S. state without commercial air service? Again, what is the only U.S. state without commercial air service? Is it A, Maryland, B, Delaware, C, Rhode Island, or D, Connecticut? The choice is again, please. A, Maryland, B, Delaware, C, Rhode Island, or D, Connecticut? I'm going to take a guess and say Delaware. Delaware is the correct answer. Very good. $2,000. Uh, the, the irony behind that. <clears throat> I know. Well, considering it's the airport right there between uh, Washington, D.C. and right on the coast of Maryland. So let's say it makes sense why the whole state doesn't have a single airport in it or a commercial airliner in it. It's weird. Yeah, that, that is strange. Delaware gets shafted again. The first, the first state of the Union. And they no air. Port. <laughs> yeah, that's messed up. That's ironic indeed. All right, two thousand to one thousand. Matt, your spin. Here we go. History, food and drink, and history. Oh, uh, let's do food and drink for five. Okay, food and drink, hundred dollars. Here comes your question under food and drink. Okay. Matt, what famous what famous beer was first brewed in the city of St. Louis, Missouri? Again, what famous beer was first brewed in St. Louis, Missouri? For five hundred bucks, name the beer. Bud Light. Judges, sorry, I can't give that one to you. There, Kevin, you can pick it up for five hundred if you know. Ooh. I'll be Budweiser. Yes, Budweiser is what we're looking for there, so it's oh, correct. I was calling anyway the Bud Light. And... Bud Weiser. Yeah. Mm, okay. That's the kick, sister. So I'm, I couldn't give you the money on that one. Scores 2500 now for a champ, 1000 for Matt, and Kevin, it's your spin. You remember those frogs there, Brandon? I do. <laughs> I do. We've got Science and Nature, Food and Drink, and Joker. Let's. Try food and drink for a stack. All right, food and drink for a thousand dollars. Here comes your food and drink question. Yes, sir. <clears throat> All right, uh, Kevin. The country of Sweden is the is the number one European country that consumes the most of what dessert product? Again, the country of Sweden is the number one European country that consumes the most of what dessert product? For $1,000, name it. Um, chocolate? That's a good guess, but it's not chocolate. Matt, you can pick up 1000 mm. if you know it. Chocolate. What's, what's sweet, you said? Uh, what dessert product? What dessert product, okay. Uh -huh. Um, would it be vanilla? No, I'm sorry, it's not vanilla. 
It's a, it is a dessert product that could be both vanilla or chocolate. It's ice cream. Oh, it's ice cream. Oh, All right, so no, no money changes hands there. Scores 2,500 to 1,000. And Matthew, it's your spin. Here we go. Food and drink, fun games, and science and nature. Uh, let's try fun and games for 500. All right, you like some fun games. We all like fun games. So here's another fun game for you for $500. All right, uh, Matthew, in what sport or game is the term rook used? In what sport or game is the term rook used? For $500, name the game. Rook, that would be chess. That is the correct answer. Very good. You got it. Up to 1500 now. And Kevin, your spin. Come on, Joker. We go Joker, entertainment, and fun and games. Entertainment for a thousand, please. Okay, go on with entertainment for one thousand dollars. Here comes your question under entertainment. All right, Kevin, the iconic Disneyland castle is based on the one from which animated the animated film. Again, the iconic Disneyland castle is based on the one animated for which Disney film? Is it A, Cinderella, B, Snow White, the Seven Dwarfs, or C, Sting I would say Cinderella. No, I'm sorry. It's not Cinderella. Matt, you can pick up a thousand and tie up the match if you know it. I think it's Sleeping Beauty. And that is the correct answer. Very good. Yeah. Now, a lot of people think it's actually Cinderella's Castle uh, at uh, Disneyland, but no, it's actually based off of the one from the Sleeping Beauty movie. Well, I'll be dogged. I know. I was surprised when I researched that one myself. I was like, huh, very good. Alright, so we're going to 500 apiece and Matt, your spin. Let's do it. Here we go. Entertainment, history, and food and drink. <clears throat> Let's do entertainment for five. Right, entertainment for 500. Here's your question. Hank Ketchum. That's no relation to Ash Ketchum, by the way. Of course. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hank, yeah. yeah. Hank Ketchum is the creator and illustrator of what famous comic strip? For $500, name it. Uh, I'm just going to take a big guess. I'm just going to take a wild guess. I'm going to say Dennis the Menace. That's a good guess, sir, because you're right. Very good. Oh, my God. Why? Good awesome. job, man. Well done. 3000 for you, 2500 for Kevin. Close game here. Kevin, you're spinning. Pull that one out of nowhere. All right, Joker. Here we go. Grab the bag. Entertainment. And a pair. Uh, okay, got to do... Uh, I'll do entertainment for 1000 please. All right, entertainment for $1,000. <laughs> Be, begun in 1884, what magazine's name is synonymous with the New York City theater scene? Again, begin, begun in 1884, what magazine's name is synonymous with the New York City theater scene? For $1,000, name it. Uh, Harper's? No, I'm sorry, it's not Harper's. Matt, you can tie you can take a thousand here if you know it. Can you repeat the question? Yeah, begun in 1884. What magazine's name is synonymous with the New York City theater scene? Any guesses? Lincoln Center? No, I'm sorry, it's not the Lincoln Center magazine. It's actually Playbill. Playbill oh, magazine. One of a lot of the theater scenes there. So sorry, no money goes to see the player here. So score still three thousand to twenty five hundred. That's your spin. Joker, history, and a triple. Ooh. Well, I guess I have to try history for the max. All right, history for two thousand dollars. If you get this question correct, Matthew, you get five thousand dollars enough to win the game. Of course, the champion, Kevin, gets one more turn being he, he spawned last of this round. All right. So, here is your question. Matt, within one year, one way or the other, 
How how long was the musical Cats on Broadway? Again, within one year, one way or another, how many years was the musical Cats on Broadway? Fifty-eight years. How long? Fifty-eight years. Five-eight. No, I'm sorry. It's not 58. It's been around a long time. Not quite that long, though. Kevin, you can pick up $2,000 to take the lead here if you know it. 18. It, yeah, the musical cast was on Broadway for exactly 18 years. You got it right, sir. Well done. Oh, no. Thank you, Eastern High School Choir Class. Yep. You, that's one of those things you just learned in choir class. All right, 4,500 to 3,000. Kevin, you could win it on this spin. And no, I did not sing any of those songs either. <laughs> I think we could tell from previous episodes. But anyway, go ahead. <laughs> I'm kidding, man. I'm kidding. It's okay. Give it a spin. I kid. I kid. Okay. Joker, Science to Nature, and a triple. Hey. Well, I'm in the proper turn, so I'm going to take the Joker off the board. Uh huh. And go with entertainment. All right, go with entertainment question, sir. If you get the question correct, uh, it will give you five thousand proper turn enough in the game. You miss it, Matt stays alive, and you will get a chance to get back in it. Uh, this is actually a true or false question, Kevin. So on true or false, is I'll read the statement. You give me the correct answer, you win the game. In this case, he's wrong. The money automatically goes to Matt here. All right. Oh dear. True or false in this one? The song Idlewise was originally created for the musical The Sound of Music. Again, Idlewise was originally created for The Sound of Music. Is that true or false? I would say that's true. Believe it or not, it's actually false, sir. It was not created for The Sound of Music. <laughs> so Matt gets the money. <sighs> wow. Who it belong to, then? I'm not sure. I'll have to we'll look it up during the commercial break. We'll find out. But uh, scores uh, 3,500 to 4,500. And now you're still alive. You get another spin. <laughs> Here we go. Joker, history, and science and nature. Well, let's try science and nature for 1,000. Okay, science and nature for 1,000. Get them right. You tie up at 4,500 feet. Miss it. And Kevin gets it. You'll have enough to win the game. Here comes your question. Here comes your question of uh, under science and nature. Matt, what's the soft form of what soft form of carbon is used as pencil lead? Again, what soft form of carbon is used as pencil lead? For a thousand dollars, name it. Graphite. Graphite is the correct answer. Very good. There you go, all tied up, 4,500 in peace. The next correct dancer could win the I game. Love it. Kevin, your spin. I don't even know what to root for. I thought it was just 500. Here we go. We got history, history, and fun and games. All right, let's go uh, fun and games for the win. All right, fun and games here for 500 here. Again, it's very simple. You get it right, you win the game, you miss it, and Matt gets it correctly. He wins the game, becomes the new champion. Oh, boy. <clears throat> All right, here's your quick under fun and games. What building tool was named after a Civil War president? Again, what building tool was named after a Civil War president? For $500 in the game, name it. It's got to be Lincoln Logs, Abraham Lincoln. And that is what we're looking for. You got it correct. You've won the game again. Thank you. Good job yourself. Wow. Right. Literally came down to the last question. Could have went either way, but the champion survives once again. Another $5,000 added to your winning, sir. You're up to $565,000, and you're going to go on to face the devil here in just a minute. Matthew, you play a very good game, sir, and literally, had you done any better, you would have won it. Yeah, but you're not leaving here empty-handed. We thank you for playing. We've got some nice parting gifts, and we'll definitely have you back on a future episode, all right? You bet. 
All right. With that said, folks, we're going to head and jump into our first commercial break. When we come back, Kevin's going to take a shot if he takes off against the devil for more prizes in our bonus round. And then stay with us. <clears throat> Welcome back to the Joker's Blood here. Kevin has won his 14th game now. Over $565,000 in cash prizes. And we're going to see how well he does with this bonus round. Come on up, Kevin. <laughs> Pull, you have pulled it out again, sir. You somehow, by some way, you managed to squeak another victory out of here. And I swear, they're, they're getting closer and closer to me every time. Yeah, that's kind of how my reign on um, another network ended, too. All right. I don't know how it is. Well, we'll see. Well, you've earned the right to play for some more prizes here. So go ahead and give the prize board a spin there. Let's see what you'll be playing for. Let's do it. Nice selection. We've got a marble cupboard, a dining room group and dinnerware, and a joker bringing your prize package to $18,351 so far. And you've got a bonus spin. Obviously. Of the bar where I'm thinking, apparently. <laughs> Very nice. A bedroom group and sleep set along with $20,000 more in cash brings your total to $45,550 bucks with a chance to play for a brand new car. Three cars up on the reels there. Which one you want to play for? Let's try number one. All right, stay behind number one. We have. The Chevy Cobalt for $16,110, bringing your total prize package to $61,660 in cash and prizes. Can be yours, but only if you can beat the devil. You escaped my wrath the last time. This time you won't be so lucky. Oh, oh great, he's back. Yeah, Lucy, Lucy is back with a vengeance this time. You, you beat him twice in a row in the last episode. He's going to try to shut you down this time here, sir. So a reminder here for our new folks at home as well, the way this game works is we've got cash on the reels now, ranging from $250 all the way up to $2,000. Kevin's objective now is to get to $10,000 before he sees Lucy the Devil's face show up in one of the reels. If he can do that, he wins the cash he's spun off the reels, plus his prize package. There's some jokers up there as well. Each joker you spend is going to get you $1,000 in guaranteed bonus money, no matter what happens. Spend three jokers on any of your spins, you win the joker's jackpot of one hundred and sixty-five thousand dollars. Do it on your first one of your first two spins. We double that to three hundred and thirty thousand dollars. We've not given this jackpot away in quite some time. I'm just expecting somebody to hit it really soon here. So hopefully, Kevin, maybe so. it's you. So let's see what you can do with it. And it's just as a reminder as well, if you feel like you're going to hit the devil at any time, you can stop and take the money you've won. Yes, sir. All right. Best of luck to you. Give it a spin. Let's go for another win. Good luck to you. All right. First spin up. 1,000. 1,000. A natural triple on the first spin's a winner. Oh, Wow. Kevin, Kevin's not even playing around. I mean, natural triple of any amount on the reels at any given time is also an automatic win for the prize package. Congratulations, Kevin. You just won $10,000. Take that, devil. <laughs> uh, Damn it. Damn you! <laughs> and Lucy is definitely upset at you. Three wins in a row, Kevin. And very impressive, sir. I'll share my Marlboro covered with you. I mean, let's face it, the devil smokes. Uh, uh, That's for a whole different reason, though. Well, congratulations, sir. You have got you just won $71,660 in this bonus round. Added to your previous winnings, you now have a grand total of 14 games totaling six hundred and thirty seven thousand three hundred and sixty seven dollars sir congratulations hey devil can you count that high nope that's what i thought thank you brandon 
Well, I think we're going to give Lucy a chance to try and cool off, and I think it's just going to make him hotter than ever. We're going to find Kevin another opponent, and we'll have more Jokers Wild on the way right after this short commercial timeout. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the Jokers Wild. Kevin, three wins in a row against the Devils. Will he go for a fourth one? We'll have to see here in this game. But right now, we have to find him a new contestant. So let's find him one now. Our next contestant for Kevin here comes to us from the Bay Area. Give it up for MVP. Hey, 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 hey. I'm, out, I'm out here in Miami get my music on, but... Let's do it. Let's do a Joker Wild style. I like it. What's up, man? How you doing? Uh, hopefully I can get some Taco Bell and not hurt the studio, but let's get it on. Yeah, we'll see. It here. A longtime friend of mine. Glad to have him as part of an MPG Productions here now. But I think first time here on my version of the Joker's Wild. Are you ready to see if you can take down the champ here? Uh, I'll try to do my best, like Ben Stein would say. All right. Well, best of luck to you both. Let's take a look at the categories you'll be using in this game of the Joker's Wild, and they are as follows. We've got geography, economics, art and architecture, sports, general science, and we still got more questions in the grab bag. All right. We'll unlock the spinners for our players here. And Will is the challenger. You can earn the right to spin first. So when you're ready, just click the screen there and give a spin. Good luck. Got it. And just hit the enter key. And you got economics, grab bag, and a joker. I will take grab bags for, what is it, 50 or 100? It's 1,000. 1,000. Okay. Uh, I'll put... take grab bag for 1,000. There you go. That's fine. Yeah, we play for five hundred, one thousand, thousand dollars on them. So here, here comes your question out of the old grab bag. Here, let me dig in and see what we got next. Um, all right, let's go. That one works. All right, well, here's your question. What keys were added to the touch-tone telephone system in 1968? Again, what two keys were added to the touch-tone telephone in 1968? For $1,000, name them. Telephone. Yeah, the, the, the touch-tone telephone. Which, which two keys were added in 1968? 1968. One of them was the star key. Did I say the, the star and the number sign? Sorry, I have an arrow. So you, your answers are the star key and the... Uh, Pound sign key, correct? Yeah, I guess that'd be right. Well, those, are the two, those are the two we're looking for. You're right. Very good. You got it. You're on the board, sir. You've got $1,000. And, Kevin, over to you for your first spin this game. All right. Here we go. Let's get some jokes. Here we go. Art architecture, joker, and grab bag. I'll try a grab bag for 1000 please. All right. Another question out of the grab bag. Let me reach in here. Oh, here's an interesting one. All right. Kevin, what gemstone, yeah. what gemstone did superstitious sailors of yore carry to ensure safe passage at sea? For a thousand dollars, name the gemstone. Um. How about an emerald? Good guess. My personal favorite, but not the one we're looking for here. Uh, MVP, we, you, tied, you could take another big lead here with this one if you know it. 
Again, what gemstone did superstitious sailors of yore carry to ensure safe passage at sea? Uh, oh, man. <laughs> One, I'm probably wrong. I'm gonna say the topaz. Another good guess, and I've heard of that one before, but not the gemstone in question here. Believe it or not, because the gemstone in question here was aquamarine. Aquamarine was the one we're looking for there. Yeah, my only other guess was gonna be the diamond, so I was way off. On that. Yeah, diamonds were very hard to come by there in the early days of sailing there, so. Fortunately, not the one we're looking for. So we're still at a thousand to nothing, and and MVP sure spin. We got geography, economics, and general science. Well, damn, the Jokers are taking a day off, aren't they? Apparently, today right, they are. Geography for five. All right, geography for five hundred. Here comes your geography question here. All right, MVP. And located 440 miles to the located 440 miles from the North Pole, Cape Morris Jessup is the northernmost point of what giant landmass? For five hundred dollars, name it. Oh, I heard of this one. Look, I. Uh, no, sorry. I have an answer for you. Uh, no, no guess there. All right, Kevin, you can pick up 500 here if you know it. May I have the question again? Sure. Located 440 miles from the North Pole, Cape Morris Jessup is the northernmost point of what landmass? Oh, jeez. I'm torn between Iceland and Greenland. I'm going to say Greenland. Well, you made the right choice because you're right. <laughs> yeah, very, very. Well, those are the two biggest landmasses close to the North Pole there. But Greenland's the one you could pretty much hop in your car and drive to the North Pole if it was completely frozen over. It, <laughs> it, that is if it was. But good part of Good part, very, very cold water between here and there. But none, nevertheless, you got the question right. You've got 500 in your bank, and it's your spin. All right, here we go. Joker, sports, and another Joker. Wow. That's what I like to see. That is what I like to see. Let's go sports for 2,000. All right. Uh, so I know both got really good in sports questions, so I was wondering how long it was going to take before somebody was able to get one of these. But here is your question under sports. Again. For two thousand, <clears> what <throat> sport can feature a judgment call known as the standing eight count? Again, what sport can feature a judgment call known as the standing eight count? For two thousand hey, dollars, name it. What was that? Boxing. Boxing is the one in question. You're right. There you go, twenty five hundred for you, a thousand for MVP, and your spin. Try it again. There we go. We got grab back, geography, and a joker. Uh, geography failed me last time, so <laughs> I'll take grab back for a thousand. All right, go on, grab bag for a thousand here. Take another question out of the old grab bag here. Let's see what we find. Um, okay, MVP, here's your question. What ancient Roman building's nighttime lighting is changed from white to gold whenever someone anywhere in the world as the death penalty commuted. Again, what ancient Roman building's nighttime lighting is changed from white to gold whenever someone anywhere in the world has a death penalty commuted? For $1,000, name the ancient Roman building. 
Uh, I finally paid attention to history class. Uh, I wasn't good in this category or in school, so I could take one guess and I will I'll say uh, uh, hey, okay, it starts with an S. I'm sorry, I had it in my mind, so I have to forfeit. Uh, I don't know it. No guess. All right, Kevin, you can take a thousand here if you know it. The question again. Please. Yeah, what ancient Roman building's nighttime lighting is changed from white to gold whenever someone anywhere in the world has the death penalty commuted? Oh, jeez. Uh, pass. I don't know. No, no. It's the, probably the most famous of all the ancient Roman buildings, the Colosseum. Colosseum is what we're looking for there. Jeez. Alright, yeah, so I told you there's some there's some random stuff in the grab bag, so I don't just questions that I really couldn't classify in one particular category now. So it's interesting we'll see what we get out of there. But Kevin, you still got you got twenty five hundred and it's your spin. You should change that from grab bag to WTF. Yeah. <laughs> I'll make note of that for next year. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Here's a general science, Joker, and a Joker. Um, let's do. I don't want to do that, but I'm going to have to. General science for two. All right, general science for two thousand dollars. Here comes your question under general science. I'm not sure. Anyway, Kevin, here's your question. Your sense of balance relies partially on fluid in the semicircular canals. Where are these semi where are these canals located on the body? Again, your sense of balance relies partly on the fluid in the semicircular canals. Where are these canals located on your body for two thousand dollars? That would be the equilibrium and that's located in your ears. And that is exactly what it is. Very good. You got it. Just like that, the champ's up to 4,500 to 1,000. MVP, you need a big spin here to catch up. Here we go. Joker, grab bag, and Joker. Hey. hey. <laughs> Jesus Christ, now they want to come from far. Ain't that a bitch? Bag for 2K. All right. I guess correct, sir. It'll get you three thousand dollars, put you back in the game. However, if you miss this and Kevin gets the question correct, it'll give him enough money to win the game. All right, here is your question out of the grab bag. All right, MVP. What United States city is home to Martin Luther King Jr.'s tomb and the world of Coca-Cola? Again, what U.S. city is home to Martin Luther King Jr.'s tomb and the world of Coca-Cola? For two thousand dollars, name the city. Okay. I hope I'm right. And I, hope, and I hope I am. I'm going to say the city is Atlanta. Hot Atlanta, Georgia is correct. Very good. All right. Jumping back into it. You got $3,000. Kevin's got $4,500. Kevin, you can win it on this spin. Let's finish it off. Let's finish it off. Here we go. Sports, grab bag, and general science. Sports. <laughs> As if there was any doubt in my mind he was going to pick anything else at this point. <laughs> right. All right, here's your question. Uh, again, get this question correct, Kevin, in the sports. If you get $5,000 in proper term and enough to win the game. Huh. Okay, here's it's one that I didn't think you could get right offhand. So you made the, maybe the game could still be on here. Here's your, ooh, excuse me. Here's your question under sports. All right, within two, Kevin, one way or another, according to U.S. Golfer Association rules, what is the maximum number of golf clubs a player can carry on any course? Again, according to USGA rules, what is the maximum number of golf clubs a player may carry on any course? Fourteen. Fourteen is the correct answer. Dead on, you win again. Wow. 
gravity is good. I mean, the man knows his stuff, and apparently an avid golfer, I take it? Uh, I've uh, watched the Masters a time or two. Ah, okay, so that's why I'm not particularly a big fan of golf myself, but and I, thought it, I thought it might be a question that might trip up somebody there. But congratulations to you, sir. It's another $5,000, and you'll be going back to the bonus round again in just a minute or two. Well, MVP, you tried your best there, but unfortunately, the champ took, takes down another opponent here. But you played very well, and we got some nice party games for you, and we would love to have you back in the future episode. Give me another shot, okay? Take this out, and I'm going to the bar, so I'm going to go drink. All right, I'll, I'll meet you after the show. <laughs> All right, six hundred forty-two thousand three hundred sixty-seven dollars for Kevin. We're going to see if he add some more to that. If he can take down the devil again, will he spend another not triple? We'll have to find out the commercial break as we continue with more. Stay with us. We're back here in the Joker's Wild. Kevin has won his 15th game in a row, sir. He's over $642,000 in cash and prizes. Let's see if he can beat the devil to game over. Uh, th th this is just becoming no a normal thing for you now, isn't it? I'm, just, I'm, having a, I'm having a ball, Brandon. I, I really am, I man. don't doubt it. All right, sir. You know what to do here. Give that lover pull and we'll see what you'll be playing for. Uh, all right. Price this time include a petite grand piano, a trip to Munich, and 10000 in cash, making your prize package $27,816. You got a joker, so that means you get a bonus spin. Spin again. Let's do it. Nice. A trip to Venice, a trip to Joe, Alaska, and another Joker make your prize package $49,179 with a chance to play for a brand new car. Three cards on the reels. Which one do you want to play for? You know what? Uh, I got to keep a winning strategy. Let's go with number one again. Number one. Behind number one this time we have the Dodge Dakota ST worth $21,146, making your prize package, sir, $70,000. $325 cash prizes can be yours, but only if you can beat the bill. Enjoy your there, devil. Alright, Kevin. You know what you gotta do. If you just repeat your last performance, we'll be out of here in the next three minutes or so. But again, just as a reminder, you spend three jokers on your any of your spins. You get the joker's jackpot of 170000 do it on one of your first two spins, and we will give you $340,000 in cash and prizes. Now, according to my math, if you can do it on one of your first two spins, along with your prize package that you've won, you could be the first person in my edition of the Joker's Wild history here to crack the $1 million mark. So a lot of pressure. you got to do three Jokers on one of your first two spins in order to be able to do it. Otherwise, you still have a chance to walk out of here with, well, almost a quarter million dollars worth of cash prizes, sir. So if you're ready, good luck to you. Give the spin. Let's win some more money. Give my best shot. Here we go. Come on, Joe. First Let's spin. Play. Looking for the next triple again. 10000 1000 250 Not going to do it on the first spin here. You got one more chance for that double jackpot. You got 3250 to break right now. What do you want to do? Stop or go? All right, go on for it. Let's see it. Joker, 2000, and now! Uh, <laughs> God damn it, Lucy. Not today, not tomorrow, not next week, not next month, not ever. Yeah, get it. Nobody it. will reach a million in my watch. <laughs> Real last point, uh, Joker. Well, we'll have to see what. Well, that is that last statement is yet to be determined, yeah. Lucy. But Kevin, unfortunately, Lucy got the better of you on this one here. But we are going to give you a thousand dollars in the less because of the Joker you spawned. 
So you do get a little something from this one. At its few previous swings, you're now up to a grand total of six hundred and forty three thousand three hundred and sixty seven dollars. That's our thanks, sir. Thank you. All right, and Kevin will be back again on our next episode to take a shot and see if he can um, add some more to his winnings there. And folks, not only this is the point where we jump into the audience game, but due to the fact we are running out of time for the next episode, this is where we're going to have to sign off here. So I want to thank all my contestants here on the show. Thanks to our audience members who are listening in the show. And thank you guys at home for watching another fun-filled episode of The Joker's Wild here. Remember, if you like what you see on See this? Don't hesitate to click that like button down below. Share the video with your friends. And if you want to see more great game shows here, I've got MVG Productions. All you got to do is click that subscribe button down below and ring the bell. That way you never miss out on all the fun and games we've got going on here at MVG Productions. Help us reach a subscriber goal of 1,000 subscribers right here before the end of 2018. All right. In the meantime, between time, while we teach Lisky that $1 million is actually an okay thing, they allowed us to do that, you know. Not on my watch. I'm your host, Chris Grug, saying thank you so much for watching. We will see you next time on another edition of The Joker's Wild. Take care. Bye. <laughs>